Okay, so today we're going to be building a web crawler or an indexer. So essentially what a crawler or indexer is, just a backend tool that gets all of the links on a page, clicks on them, and then continues doing that, and then gets the title or tags or some keywords on that website to then build some kind of search engine. So that's what we're going to be building today. We're going to be using this library called Crawler, which is pretty nice, and it implements a lot of the features that we'll need to crawl the web. So the first thing we need to do here is just import some dependency. So we're going to be in importing crawler, URL, and FS. URL we're going to be using to format the URLs because they're going to be all sorts of weird formats. So some are going to go back a few files and some are not going to be proper links. And this will just format them as proper links. Crawler we're obviously going to use to help us crawl the web. FS, that's because we're going to be saving it in this CSV file here. So the data is going to look like this. So let's delete this. And let's write the program. So the next line we need to do is make an instance of this crawler. Then we're going to add a few properties. So max connections is just how many connections. And rate limit is just going to rate how many connections. So this is going to take one second for each website to be crawled. And skip duplicates is just going to skip duplicates. So these two I want to come back to because you can turn this up to like 10 connections and remove the rate limiting. And you will get web pages really, really fast. But you will also get banned really, really fast. So you can play around with these, but I would just recommend these defaults. They are fine for like a smaller application and you're not going to get banned. So, well, you might be banned, but the, the chances of you being banned are lo definitely lower than if you just crank it up. So the next thing we're going to be defining is this callback. So this is the function that will be called each time the crawler gets a new web page. And in there, we're just going to be checking if you got an error, we're just going to print that out and not try to index the website. Then we're just going to be making this variable so we can use the dollar sign instead of rest dot dollar sign. Then we're going to be writing the file. So we're going to be checking if the website's the CSV file exists. If it does, then we're just going to be appending this in a CSV format. So we're just taking the title, the text, trimming it and replacing characters which are in the CSV file just so it's not going to destroy the CSV. Then we're locking the URL and if the file did not exist, we're just going to be appending the title and the URL to the top so it's going to be the header of the csv file then we are going to get all of the a tags so that's all of the links on the web page and then we're going to be crawling through them so just we're just going to be doing it for each on them then we're wrapping this in a try catch statement because this does crash and if it just crashes we're just going to ignore that and go to the next url so the first thing here is that we're just getting the actual reference to the url that we are on to the current url and then we're just taking the url and getting the href of that which will then be the url that's on the a tag so the link we want to go to and then we're going to be resolving that using the url which is this one up here to then resolve that and convert that to a proper URL. Then we're going to be checking if that starts with HTTP. And if it does, then we are adding that to the crawl queue, which will then append this to the queue. And then it will sort of just crawl it whenever it gets to it, specified by these two properties up here. So that's how fast it will crawl through the websites. Then we're just to get this whole queue started, adding the starting website. And we have, I've just picked this GitHub, but you can pick any website really. That will be the starting point of the first website. So you could also write this program so it only maybe went 20 websites down. And then it added files so it was like an index for like each website. But I'm just crawling the website, just showing this as a starting point for you to develop a more useful tool. So let's run this program here, make sure we saved it and let's run it. So you can see that we now got this website.csv file and you can see that it just slowly crawls through the websites. Now again, we don't want to do this too much with websites which we haven't gotten permission from. There is a risk of us being banned. Let's try picking a different website. So if I just here, so let's just pick this and paste this in here. And, and we can keep the file the same. So we'll just append on there. But you can see that it then goes in on all the URLs and grab them. Now we could obviously have extracted more data than the title. I'm just appending the title, but we could have grabbed a whole lot of other things. We could have grabbed keywords. I could have grabbed text, maybe some paragraphs, maybe some descriptions or something. We could have grabbed a whole lot of things. So really we could have done a whole lot more than we did, but it's very easy for you to implement this. It's just by adding more properties, finding whatever you want to select, then just appending into this file, the same format as I have done it here. And then you will just get more data here. You could also have done this to a JSON object if you didn't want to work with CSV. 
So I hope this helped and I hope you're gonna try this exam. I hope the link is gonna be down below and see you in the next one. Bye.